Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a general reading for the sign of Leo for the month of June 2021. Let's get started, Leo. Let's see what messages, what energies you have for the month of June coming up. Just a reminder, these are general readings. This is a card reading, just merely for reflection on our and general energies in our lives. Queen of Swords. Take it is as it feels for you in your journey and your energies. Seven of Cups. Three of Pentacles. The Lovers. Queen of Pentacles. Leo. What energies do we have for Leo in this month of June coming up? Leo. Six of Wands. Beautiful. Messages and energies for the sign of Leo. Two of Cups. Messages for the sign of Leo in this month of June coming up. Let's see what we have. Queen of Wands. Four of Cups. Ace of Pentacles. Ah, okay. Five of Cups. Three of Wands and Ace of Pentacles. All right. Here we go. Put this over here. Leo, let's get started. You have a one major arcana, the lovers, and a one ace, ace of pentacles. Very good. It seems like, Leo, you are... You were, you're realizing that um, this might be after, I feel like all these readings, uh, apologies for this, all these readings are in wake up mode, right? We are all waking up to new, waking up to unknown for some of us, or for most of us, waking up to a new pattern, a new you, and a new energies. And you are seeing clear, understanding how to choose, what to choose. You have a lot of offers, Leo. Um, you have had a lot of offers or you do have a lot of offers. Some are good, some are not great. You have a lot of contacts, a lot going on, a lot of discussions, three of pentacles at work. And uh, a lot of contacts to make things happen, a lot of contacts to make projects happen, start, start uh, new, uh, you have new opportunities, new opportunities with new people or within your job and new connections to start um, new. Um, a lot of, a lot of, I just see a lot of, a lot going on, a lot going on, but a lot of confusion as well, not surprising considering um, the uh, the environment right now right and so but you're 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 seeing clear through this Leo you're strong and you're seeing clear in 
understanding what your direction is going to be and understanding what your way is going to be, who you're going to connect with, who you're going to do this with, and who you're going to hook up with in a, in a work sense. You do have the lovers and the two of cups, which tells me that there is also a connection, a love connection, uh, someone you're really, really attracted to can be in work, Leo, doesn't have to be, but we have two queens here. We have queen of wands and queen of pentacles. Now, queen of wands can be you, Leo, doesn't have to be, but the queen of pentacles is someone in your life that you might be connecting to at work, not doesn't have to be, but it seems that there's a lot going on at work right now. That is your focal point. That is your focal point to start new uh, new projects um, and, and sort of sort everything out and figure out what direction you're going to go to and who you're going to work with and what project you're going to choose. And just be careful because within that, those, those connections and those offers, you do have the Ace of Pentacles, right? So offers are coming in and there's one really great offer which is um financially rewarding and with a you know sort of long-term success within all these offers here seven of cups right a lot of temptations a lot of people you know might be a little bullshitting along the way so but you're you're seeing pretty clear leo on what exactly you're going to accept which offer you're going to accept and which offer you're going to push forward. And the one you accept, Leo, is, is going to be uh, very successful. But just be careful, and we'll get to the love connection in a moment, but just be careful. You do have the Four of Cups and the Five of Cups. And I feel like since there's a lot going on, a lot of people offering you or, or, or you know, um, opportunities or a lot going on around you with people with different projects that you know that want you involved in their projects or projects you're interested in or are interested in starting business or partnering up with people a lot going on and i feel like it just just be careful that you you choose wisely and then it's good you have the queen of swords <clears throat> but you do have three queens this does not have to be you Leo, but I do feel since it comes in the beginning of the reading, I feel it's someone, you know, it's you understanding that you have to be sharp in sorting through all this nonsense here at work and, or non, you know, all these people starting up now and wanting to do all kinds of, you know, they're waking up to creativity, to waking up to start businesses. And there's a lot of BS going on, you know, because people just feel like they have to get out there and do whatever they can do. And, and, and they're just trying everything and anything. So there's, there's good stuff and there's stuff to put in the garbage. So for everyone, right? So you're seeing clear, that's good. But uh, along the way, you do... Uh, just be careful that you choose the right opportunity. You do have Four of Cups, which is sort of bored or not really realizing the one, the one that's going to push you forward, that opportunity that's going to push you forward with uh, financial success, Ace of Wands, uh, Ace of Pentacles, and, and push you forward. And you, you know, you get a little disappointed, you get a little bored, you might have you know, you might choose one and then that doesn't really pan out or you might have several opportunities and that doesn't really pan out or you're disappointed in the people or disappointed in the project, right? And so just, just be aware. Keep your clarity, Leo, Queen of Swords. Keep your clarity on what exactly, you know, is going on. Analyze the situation. Check out the people that are behind the projects, but behind the job, behind the opportunity, and make sure you choose the right one. Right? It's not always the one that's all pizzazzy that or you know that's gonna be the one that's gonna work. But at the end, I think you're going to choose wisely. You're going to choose the right one because you do have the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Wands, which is success and and moving forward ready to embark, ready to move forward on this 
on this Ace of Pentacles. And I feel like this Ace of Pentacles is moving forward with a, a lot of people, you know, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Queen of Swords, a lot of feminine energies around you, Leo. A lot of feminine energies. They can be bosses, they can be mentors, they can be co-workers, they can be people around you. Uh, working around you because we have the three of pentacles in the center of the reading it feels like this is all within the uh, job um, environment right and um, all within your professional environment and and you do have a connection uh, can be with the queen of wands can be with the queen of pentacles I don't think if it's with the queen of swords but I think it might be with the queen of wands queen of wands can be um you know, another Leo or a Sag or Aries. Uh, a Queen of Pentacles is, uh, Pentacles is, um, oh yeah, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, right? So uh, a lot of signs in there, but there's definitely someone. This can be you, Leo, um, but I feel like there, all these feminine energies are working around you. And within that, within these ladies around you, Leo, uh, and again, these are just energies, Take it as it is, vice versa. It does not mean they're a female. It's just they're feminine energies. But there's a lot of people around. And within that, within these few people around you, you do have one person you really connect with. Um, it's something, it's sort of like a, I, I don't like to say soulmate connection, but it's someone you really connect with at work someone you really vibe with, someone you work well together, you know, and, and I feel like little by little, this might develop into a romantic relationship. And I, and this is someone you've been, you know, you've been working with for a while and right. And this is just, we're going to pull more cards to see exactly what's going on. So within the work, we have a romantic relationship and we have, um, you know, beautiful opportunity to move forward. And you do have the Six of Wands, which is really success after muddling through all this, you know, these offers right, left, and center, these projects coming and going, you know, starting and stopping, a lot a lot going on. People are trying a lot of things, trying to make it work. And within that, that you know, within that, that choice, within those choices, there is one that is going to push you forward, definitely. These cards are flipping over. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what this um, uh, Seven of Cups is all about. Let's see what this Seven of Cups is all about, Leo. What are all these choices you have to you have in front of you? Some of them are a little disillusioned. Some of them are bullshit, right? Some of them are really very interesting. So let's see, what is this Seven of uh, Cups all about? What can we, okay. All right, well, four of, four of Swords means take it, take it slow, take it easy. Don't, don't rush these choices and don't rush the choice that's gonna push you forward. That's what I've been saying, take your, take your time, take your time, muddle through, um, um, really um, analyze one by one each opportunity or each, you know, project and, uh, you know, thoroughly, thoroughly. So take your time before you make any type of choices, right? Because you might, you might be disappointed. So take your time because you do have, yes, look at this. You do have the Ace of Ace of Wands that came right out. So you have the Ace of Pentacles, which is success, financial success, and you ha have the Ace of Wands, which is growth, right? Moving forward, growing. So take your time in your choices. Take your time in in reinventing yourself. If you're reinventing yourself, take your time in choosing a new career. If it's a new career, a new project new people you're working with, whatever it represents for you. Again, these are just cards, just reflections on energies that we might have, right? And so just take your time in your choices because within that, there is something really, really worth it. There's something interesting, something you want to do and something you're gonna push forward. 
Ace of Wands can also be um, this beautiful romantic relationship budding here. Not budding, uh, passionate. Turning into passion, right? This budding relationship at work, someone you really jive with, someone you really connect with, it's becoming very passionate. But you are starting something, so let's see. Um, all right. I didn't really call the cards. Let me call the cards. Let's see what this lovers is all about. Choose wisely, right? Choose wisely this opportunity. Take your time. Just take your time. Take your time. Why is the lovers here for Leo? 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 Thank you. Okay, two times the six of wands. This is victory. This is something you've wanted. This is something you worked hard for. Um, this might be a partnership. Lovers can also be a partnership. But you, it can also, six of wands can be in love, can be, you know, just rewarded for for you know what you what you wanted um the lovers is if you take it in a sense of love relationship it is connecting right it's a really really beautiful soulful connection a beautiful uh you know sexual energy but it goes beyond lust right it's really the choice um about who you want to be and who you want to be with. And I think it's a little bit of a victory over yourself as well, Leo, on who you connect with, on your values. And within this workspace, maybe you've boosted yourself forward and people saw you in a different way and you're really connecting in a different way with people now. Not not surprising in this, um, in this new energy in this world, right? We're all waking up to new. But you do have two times the six of wands. And, and six of wands is leader, leading. So either this person is, uh, uh, I really want to say it's, it's, it's a victory for you over, you know, this person that you might have been, um, uh, you might have been eyeing for a while, but it's also success. You're very successful. You have the two, you have two times the six of wands. And it is, you have this co new confidence in you, Leo, to progress forward. So whether it's in the, the romantic connection or within this job, and I, I really think that it's sort of, they're all connected. They're all happening on you're in your professional environment and you're really self-confident you got your mojo back you 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 are you are shining leo and attracting this person right and um uh, you um you certainly can be a leader within your your profession but you really have success this is bringing you success let me let me take another card on this six of wands here, Leo. Because you have it twice. Why is the six of wands here? This might be someone you really have had a crush on for a while or were partnered up in your job and it has become, you know, progress into a romantic relationship and you have victory over that. And you have this new confidence in you, which is sort of boosting you forward and giving you the energy to make all this happen. It is possible. Why is the Six of Wands here? Why is the Six of Wands here for Leo two times? Yes, wish coming true. So this is whatever you're wishing for. If this is someone you really were attracted to in your job, this is something that's going to happen. Definitely. And if this is a partner within your job, this is something that's going to happen. 
this is something you wish for, something you really wanted, someone you have had in your eye, you know, in your eyesight for a while. But I feel like this is because it's all sort of metal together, this job and romantic relationship, I feel like you have it all, right? You have this beautiful um, uh, opportunity here, successful opportunity. You're growing, you're growing fast. You have financial success and you also have this passionate romantic um, uh, connection here at work. Why is the two of cups here for Leo? Why is the Two of Cups here for Leo? Why is the Two of Cups here for Leo? Why is the Two of Cups here for Leo? Thank you. Uh-huh. Okay. So, we have had, we have the Six, the Eight of Swords. The, okay. Yes, definitely at work. Definitely at work. We have the Eight of Swords. The Ten of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Eight of Pentacles. So, this is a connection that you have worked on, that you have dreamt of, that you have waited for. Within this connection, this romantic connection, there is your job that you're working very hard at. You're very talented at what you do. You people come to you for advice. People come to you to, uh, um, you to um, uh, as as a um, consultant, right? You you're very very good at what you do, and you're waiting. You waited. You waited for this reward. You waited for this opportunity, but you also waited for this two of cups. You, something happened within this job. Something happened. You worked very hard at something and you had to wait, wait a very long time. So something tells me that since everything is sort of intertwined, whatever this romantic relationship was or is, this person that you really connect with, your connection, your crush, your, your whatever, whatever it is for you, take it as it is as it, for your journey. But the Ten of Swords and the Eight of Swords tells me that it has been going on for a while and you have been hurt. Maybe you were waiting. Maybe you were waiting for this to happen and it didn't and this person refused or, you know, it didn't work out or they were with someone else. And, you know, it, it just there was con conflict and no matter what, it was hurtful and you felt stuck. You felt stuck and you thought this would never happen. So the fact that this person all of a sudden is, I don't know, free maybe, or now if not free, um, now, you know, has become available or, or sees you in a different way. And that is why you have such self-confidence. You are vibrant. You are you know, you, you have this victory over whatever it is you were wishing for. This person within your job, you really wanted this to happen. And whatever happened before that sort of didn't break your heart, but it was, it was hard. It was hard. And um, uh, you, either you were in another relationship that didn't, you know, that sort of is over and was hurtful. It was hard. It, and now you're finding your new vibe with this connection that has been there for a while, right? And maybe you had to end a relationship to be with this person or they had to end a relationship, but, but this has been very difficult for you, very hurtful, and you felt stuck for a while and you've been waiting. So whatever these wishes are, you're, you're getting this. You have victory over this, right? This connection is passionate connection at work is is leading uh leading is happening all right let's see apologies if i'm a little all over the place i'm a little a little sick these days all right so um queen of wands let's see who this queen of wands is why is this queen of wands you have a lot of people around you and i feel like this is all in your job um leo a lot of people a lot of people why is the queen of wands here why is the Queen of Wands here? 
I think that I think that we also since we have the four of cups and the five of cups here, I feel like this person you've wanted to be with them for a while. Now again, this can be vice versa. Everything can be vice versa. All these energies can be vice versa. You have been wanting this person for a while. You have been wanting to be with this person for a while. You've been seeing them. You 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 know there's a connection. You want to be with this person and it just didn't happen. It just didn't happen for a while. Or they wanted to be with you. And you were disappointed. They were disappointed. Or you were just pessimistic, not, not thinking this was ever going to happen. Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Leo. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Leo. Sticky cards. Is this still a secret, Leo? <sighs> ah, yeah. Well, there you go. A magician. Transformation. Transformation. Wow. I mean, this is something that you really, really have manifested, Leo. Maybe this is a person that made it happen. Maybe this queen of, of wands is someone that pulled it all together. If this is not you, right? Leo, this can be you. Queen of wands can be your energy. Absolutely. So if it's not you, it's someone else that pulled this all together, that made it happen. But if it's you, you are making this happen all together. This is something you really wanted. This is something you are manifesting. You manifested. You're manifesting, Leo. You wanted this job. You want to be this person. You can do it. And if it's not, if it's not happening yet, this is something that you can definitely do. Get. Sorry. All right, let's see. Four of, is this, no, four of, uh, why is the four of cups here? Page of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Yes, page of pentacles. Let's, budding romantic relationship. Budding, it started really small. You didn't see it or they didn't see it. You weren't on the same page in the beginning. Right? Starting really small. I really think you didn't know. And this came out here. I want to put it there. Independent. Financially independent. This is a really good opportunity, Leo. You have the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, which is really uh, financially independent. Um, also, in your, in your values, doing what you want to do. This is a job you've dreamt of. This is something you've been wanting for a while. And this is your true self. This is what represents you. This is, this is a job that represents your values, your work, and you're very good at this. And this is putting you in a really comfortable uh, financial place. And you really don't care anymore, Leo, about what people think, right? She, the Nine of Pentacles is someone very independent and she really wants to do it her way. And she's very comfortable in her values, comfortable in her ways, com comfortable in her approach to life and to her job. And she, and even if it's a little different, um, she's okay. She's okay with it because look at her. She's comfortable. She knows her worth. She knows her value and she really doesn't need anybody else to exist. All right. One more card. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. Knight of wands. Knight of wands. That's someone very, uh, flighty. Lots of fun. You might have ha <clears throat> been having lots of fun. I feel like that doesn't really correspond to it. Let's see where that goes. Ah, yes. Okay. So lovers. Yeah. 
This is a person you're having a lot of fun with. This is someone you relate to, someone you're you're partying partying with, someone you you're just enjoying being with this person and going out and having fun. It is almost you know regenerating you uh giving you energy and and you're like a you're like a young person again you're like an adolescent again right a teenager this person brings you that vibe so at the same time you're you're getting comfortable financially you're you're successful in this in this opportunity and at the same time you're sort of like a teenager you go from the page to the to the night sort of you know a kid to a teenager you know in the energies of course um in this beautiful romantic relationship and you're having a lot of fun and that's what you want right now you're not looking for any commitment. You just want to enjoy this person and enjoy this connection that you've been, I think you've been waiting for for a while or they've been waiting for, vice versa. Nice reading, Leo. Let's see um, Let's see if there's one last message for the road. Let's see, one last message for this month of June for the sign of Leo. Is there one last message? One last message for the sign of Leo for this month of June. Nope, not yet. One last message for the sign of Leo for this month of June. Yes, look at this. Yeah, very, very financially successful, um, Leo, really. The Four of Pentacles tells me you have managed your monies very well. You're in control. You know where you're going. You're you know what you want. You might you might have been a little closed off for a while, making sure you managed your your pentacles while this whole world situation was happening, and you really really uh, did a fantastic job at that. And um, and now you're reaping the rewards, King of Pentacles. You're reaping the rewards. You're going from four pent. There's a lot of pentacles here. Ten of pentacles. I mean, nine of pentacles. Eight of pentacles. Page of pentacles. Four of pentacles. You, you're, you're very financially successful. Whatever this opportunity is, go for it, Leo. Take your time in choosing. Sort it all out. Make sure you choose the right one. And, um, and, and, and really, it's, um, it's financially. You're going to be financially successful and growing and growing. Beautiful Leo. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this reading. Please leave a comment down below if you connect with these energies. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell. Apparently that helps. Thank you so much for watching. Oh yes, all signs are up for soulmate readings if ever you were interested in taking a look at those. Thank you. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.